you want to know how I know that I have the best audio settings in Warzone? It's because of death comms like this. I know there's it's coming up. He knew exactly where I was. There's no way. Because I can hear you with my ears. Now you can probably tell from that clip, even if you're listening on just your regular phone speakers and not your actual gaming headphones, just how easy to hear those footsteps are. And there's basically three things that we need to adjust in order for you to hear footsteps much better in Call of Duty Warzone. Number one is gonna be using the correct audio mix in the in-game audio settings. And that is gonna be boost low now a lot of other people will also say that boost high is a good option i have tested both extensively for a very long time and i can definitely confirm that boost low you can hear footsteps much easier especially when there are other noises in the game going on like footsteps and explosions now i'm going to quickly cover my other settings that i have in this tab before moving on master volume though ties in heavily with the number three thing that we're going to talk about so i'm going to come back to that one for music volume i'd say your best is to turn this all the way down keep your dialogue volume low that way you can still hear things like enemy uav overhead or enemy landing nearby but not too high that way it's not drowning out things like footsteps your effects volume needs to absolutely be at 100 because footsteps are considered effects in this game so we absolutely want to keep those maxed out the other none of these other other ones or settings matter too much i would definitely say keep mono audio disabled though the second thing that we need to do is custom eq for your headphones now not all headphones will have access to this but if you're on a nicer or higher end pair of headphones you should be able to customize your eq settings by going into whatever your brand's software or driver it is for myself i'm using steel series so i have the steel series engine opened up and i can go in here and i can customize my eq settings here now if you are on console and you don't have access to going into a pc and changing this if you have like the game DAC or the little amp sometimes in there you can customize your eq from there without having to go onto a pc now basically the thought process behind customizing your eq is to turn down sounds that are not going to be similar to footstep audio and turn up the sounds that are similar to the footstep audio so in my case you'll see i have the 4k slider all the way to the max and also and you'll see that i have some of the lower bass tones turned down now this will be slightly different depending on your headphones so you, you are welcome to try this out and experiment this i actually found these custom eq settings on an audio forum for steel series they recommend using for fps games so if you're turtle beach astros whatever try searching on the internet and see if you can find some for your specific headphones but you're welcome to copy these or try to mimic these with your headphones and they should be similar and i can definitely say that even before the number three step that we're about to talk about just the eq settings really made a big difference in order for me to hear footsteps better in warzone and number three and possibly the most important thing is the entire video for hearing footsteps better in warzone is the program called SoundLock. Now, for my console players, you will not be able to do this, but I do have something for you that is very similar. So SoundLock is a free program that you can download off the internet. You can just Google SoundLock and this one that is this three apps.com will pop up. I will put the link of this in the description as well to make it easier. Basically the way SoundLock works, is it's gonna cap your maximum volume level or your maximum decibel level. So it's not going to lower your volume. It just caps it from, from getting too loud and it basically prevents you from blowing your ear drums out so what it allows you to do is you can turn up your overall volume of your game to make those softer noises like footsteps easier to hear without breaking your eardrums because of things like explosions going off in your ear so once you get sound lock installed go ahead and open it up this should pop up here on the bottom click this little uh, settings cog wheel make sure that you have your output device set to whatever you use to listen in game for me it's just called speakers i have a kind of a weird audio setup myself for filter mode just put that on filter master make sure these first two boxes are checked that way when you start up your computer sound lock is automatically going to be on and you don't have to open the program every time go ahead and save it and then go back to this little slider down here and make sure this is checked to on and basically the way this is going to work is this is our slider that allows us to cap our maximum volume level so all the way up would basically be no cap I recommend going somewhere between about 50% and 25% of the way down. I think I usually sit about a third of the way down. So now that I'm in game, we can watch here. I'm just in a private match with bots shooting me. You can see 
well, that when they're shooting how the slider is hitting that limiter and it's not getting louder in that. So basically that's why I talked about having my master volume set a lot higher. And I also have my actual windows audio setting much higher than I typically would. Uh, so basically I've got my overall game volume louder. So those softer noises are louder but those louder noises are softer. Now, this is something I definitely recommend testing out and playing with until you get used to it. One thing that I noticed is my own teammates' footsteps sounded way louder than before, basically on par with what typically the enemy's footsteps would sound like. And then my enemy's footsteps were even way louder. So just play around with it and see what works for you. Now, real quick for my console players, I was told by a member of my community that there is a program called Dolby Atmos that you can have on your Xbox. Um, and I'm not sure if it works on PlayStation. He told me he was using it on his Xbox that the idea behind it is very similar to Soundlock where you can cap those volume levels just like we did with Soundlock. Personally, I don't have a console myself to test this out on so i apologize please let me know if you're successful in doing this and how this works for you though please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments if you're looking for a bunch more settings tips and a bunch more loadout videos and things like that for warzone make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can catch those otherwise have a great rest of your day thanks for watching